Hello, brothers and sisters. Good evening. Uh, I got two dreams. One from my wife that she wrote down. And one that I had this morning at 1217. Let's pray. Dear God, forgive us of our known unknown sins. Please, God, give everybody ears to hear what I'm about to say about these dreams that tie into Scripture. Your holy word, almighty Father. In Jesus' almighty name, I consecrate these prayers. Amen. Okay, so first, I'm going to say Jesus is come in the flesh. Here, I'm going to write it down. I hear the clock ringing in the back. I'm on one of the refuge uh, mountains. Mm, amen. It's music to my ears. Hmm. Don't think so. Just listen, you know. Show you where I'm at. anti-woke baby huh are y'all anti-woke y'all better roll with god quit rolling with that culture quit rolling with that world baby amen hmm. it's like a moment of silence And then angels are around me. It was awesome. Saw an angel orb fly in front of the screen right before I pushed record. Catch them a lot. See them a lot. I see in the spirit room. Too bad a lot of people don't believe in that. All right, I'm going to get to these dreams. I'm very excited to share these dreams with y'all. First off, my wife was led to get this book because God created the universe and the stars and the moon. Amen. And she wrote in here, Dreams and Visions from God, 2022. Altogether, she's had three dreams. I... In previous video, uh, look up my wife's New Jerusalem dream. Very, very awesome. It, it turned out it, it was a dream and then an open vision right after she prayed about it. Because she ain't used to remembering her dreams. And like she was blessed with a, an open vision from God. And that was amazing to me. <laughs> up so the cars won't interrupt this video all right this dream happened on 9 26 22 and this is what my wife wrote and i'm going to explain some some of this what ties into scripture in a minute too the dream that i am about to tell you happened almost a week ago it stay it started it started off, I was at a party, but it was a very ungodly party. And she said it, it was very demonic. It, people was wearing pentagrams. Let me carry on. I remember feeling very uncomfortable and I wanted to leave. I was there with my ex-husband and he ran off with two other females. That's what happens when you don't keep the commandments and you give in to the world and culture of this world. I began to walk around and everything that I ran into was ungodly people wearing pentagrams. And all of a sudden, my body was being lifted up out of this place 
and I was lifted into the universe. As I was looking around, I seen all these angelic beings around me. Then all of a sudden, I began to grow these large wings like an angel. And one of the angelic beings asked me, are you ready to go back down? I didn't understand. I'm going to pause. Now, these angelic beings was warrior angels. She said they had armor on and swords. We all went back to this party. And when we arrived, some people began running. Some people started to hit their knees and began to cry and scream out. Then these angels started to fight and they would kill some people. And when they hit them, these dark demons would come out of their body. They had the power of God to make these demons come out and slay demons. They was killing the people that took the mark. And these angels would send them back to hell. These angels were warriors and were sending these demonic beings to hell. Then I woke up, my phone was in my left hand, and I looked at it, and it read 3.17 a.m. I looked around my room because it felt as if I was somewhere different. It took, <clears throat> it took her a while <laughs> to realize that she was back home in the room. Like she said it felt so real, like she thought she was already... Uh, in heaven with the angels and Jesus and coming back to earth, you know, how the saints and Jesus come back and reign for a thousand years. Well, that's, that's what that dream is about. Now, I'm going to read some scriptures. Okay, in my King James Bible, chapter 20 above, it says, Satan is bound. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed, loose a little season. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshiped the beast Neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. And then All right. Last night me and my wife we listened to uh Jesus sleeping music, okay? And it's a picture of uh, Jesus in the clouds, in the portal of clouds, and him coming down with the white bright light. Okay. Last night, I I have gotten many angel visits, man, like of Angel Gabriel and uh, Angel Raphael. Okay, and. Like, I know it, it, it's hard. Uh, I, I'm like, wow, me? Why me? You know, how how I get so lucky, you know? Well, I, ever since I transformed, that was my first vision dreams was with angels, Gabriel and Raphael. 
And last night I had an angel visit. Gabriel had a scroll and he said, the time of judgment is now. There will be no more warnings, but only messages. Your nation and every nation of the world is about to be judged. Don't add to nothing that you see and I tell you, and don't subtract nothing that you see and I tell you. And I woke up and I was like, wow, I, I, I finally got another one. Like it's been, it's been about, I don't know, about two months since I've had a angel visit dream. Some dreams I don't tell right away. It's, it's God's timing. But judgment's coming, and it's real close. Uh, spiritual warfare is going to get deeper. The the nations are going to shake harder. There's going to be earthquakes, pestilences, famines coming. It's it's coming. Yeah, I don't care if you believe it or not. I don't care if you're an unbeliever or a believer, a mocker, a scoffer. I'm telling you what Angel Gabriel told me. Okay, it wasn't a long dream. It was just long enough to, he he came to me, uh, opened the scroll, and told me exactly what I just told you. And, and I welcome it. I'm like, man, the faster, <coughs> excuse me, the faster these things happen, the faster Jesus is coming. And the testing, stay in the word of God. Like, many are not in the Word of God. Many are being deceived and being deceivers now, even in the church. And God's about to handle you. And, and I have, and I, I hope God has mer mercy on you. So I pray for y'all. I pray for my family, friends, and enemies. Now, I'm going to read... Uh, the book of Malachi that ties in with my dream vision from Gabriel, okay? The coming messenger. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way <clears throat> prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he sh shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the uh, hearing and in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and the turn aside the stranger from his right. And fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts, for I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. And then chapter 4 above it says, God's judgment on the wicked. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, I mean, all the proud ye, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall, and ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember what God has done.
And this is verses four through six. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, <clears throat> I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Now, I suggest y'all start abiding in the word of God. Pray about everything and pray for everyone. Without the word of God and, and without walking in the spirit daily. You are not going to make it. You, you, you are going to be fearful, but you're not supposed to have the spirit of fear in you, okay? And you should uh, pray every day, walk in the spirit daily. You need to study the Bible every day, test the spirits. Uh, I mean... And use common sense. Do I mean right is right, wrong is wrong. Okay. Judgment is coming. And I've been saying this since November last year. I said, man, God ain't playing with y'all. God ain't playing with us. Y'all have your little fun while you think you're having fun now. Y'all keep getting high like you want to. Y'all keep drinking, selling drugs, listening to ungodly music, lying. Making up excuses like all oh, that's about to come to a cease. And you're about to see judgments. You're about to see many things come on this nation. Many things going to come on this world. And y'all ain't got too much more time. Y'all ain't got too much more time. Uh, I pray that y'all have ears to hear, eyes to see. Know the, the signs and times. World War Three will happen soon. Look what's going on. You gotta you gotta know your politics. You gotta know the enemy. You gotta know how Satan moves. Like but we move bigger and badder, man, because we got the Holy Spirit. We have the authority to step on Serpents and scorpions and cast out demons. We have the authority of God. And and I always listen, I, I believe in the in the rapture. Okay? But I tell people, you know, even if the rapture don't happen, don't give up and and stop abiding in the word of God. That that's just, it's part of the testing. Uh, the point is, are you ready? Uh, like tick tock, we're all on the clock. It, it's just a matter of time before you check out. But how are you gonna check out? Tell me that. How are you gonna check out? You're gonna check out and, and stay in the faith and stay in the word and, and don't don't renounce your faith, y'all. Don't renounce the name of Jesus. That's what they want you to do. That's what the culture is, is wanting you to do. And they're trying to train you to get away from that Bible. They're trying to train you to be dumb. Straight up. I mean, I can't say it no, no nicer way. Yeah, Are y'all going to be stupid and not do your, uh, your research and, and, and seek the knowledge? Seek and you shall find. Open a book. Read. Try to stay off. The, the phones, man. I, I do this because God told me to do it. I don't do this for no views and subscribers. Some subscribers I lose. I don't care. Yeah, Lord have mercy on their soul. I hope they I hope they know what they're doing. But listen, bottom line is, walk in the spirit daily. Pray to God daily. Don't renounce your faith. Don't renounce the name of, of God and Jesus, man. Like, God, God's daily lifting his hand of uh, uh, blessings off to his nation because look how they're too what? They're too woke. They're following agendas. 
and the narrative and the propaganda. And what they need to be doing is following this. Stop defiling your body. Stop doing that. Stop getting tattoos. Stop. Listen, did Jesus get tattoos? Then stop it. Did Jesus smoke, drink, uh, get drunk? Did he sell drugs? Did he curse? If Jesus didn't do it, then why are you doing it? Bottom line, why are you doing it? And I'm bold in that preaching right there. And I'm going to stand with that preaching right there. You know, you love your enemies. I pray for my family, friends, and enemies. Even heathens, man. Even some of my people that, that don't even act right, don't even care. Or they're like, oh, whatever, I'm still going to go get high. Oh, whatever, I'm still going to sell some drugs. All right, man, dude. <laughs> yeah. what you, do you think God's going to uh, have you in favor right away? No, he, you're going to see some judgment. You're going to see the wrath of God. The ones that's left behind, you're going to see. You're going you're gonna to wish you followed uh, the word of God and listened and heed to the warnings and listened to the watchmen and prophets. You're going to wish. You're, you're, yeah, I'd hate to be the fly on the wall and be like, huh. <laughs> Didn't we tell you that was coming? We warned you. We told you. Yeah, walk in the spirit daily. Get away from that flesh, okay? Refrain from from the way the enemy tries to come at you. The enemy don't know the new versions of y'all, okay? He, he, he don't know how to act sometimes now because you're walking what? You're walking in the spirit. You're walking with God. He's going to flee from you. I'm not saying testings ain't going to come, but you built tough, right? You hard, ain't you? And stay hard for God, not the street, not the culture, not the worldly ways. Stay hard for God and only God. Amen. Y'all ain't helping me. Can I get amen? Y'all, y'all ain't got too much more time to be lily footing around, getting high, cursing. Listening to ungodly music and, and, and watching ungodly things on social media and, and movies and Netflix and, and the whole nine yards, the whole agenda of Satan's uh, devices. Flee. Come up out of that whore. Come up out of Babylon. Huh? And there ain't nothing I ain't saying that ain't right. So come up out of it. Start walking with God and quit walking with the world. This world's coming to an end. World War III's coming. But most of all, Jesus is coming. God's allowing all this to happen. God's hand is on everything he's allowing to happen. Question is, who you riding with? Pray about it. Who you riding with? You riding with God? Or you riding with that old sneaky old devil? Y'all better get some get right. In your life, you might want to start changing up some of the ways you think, act, and talk. You better start respecting the Word of God. You better start respecting that Holy Bible. You ain't got too much more time. God, please touch the hearts of those who misunderstand me, misinterpret me, and hate hate me because I'm preaching the gospel of truth and just telling it like it is, Almighty Father. Thank you for my visions, dreams, and signs that you show me, Almighty Father. Show it to them like you showed me, Almighty Father. I forgive all my family, friends, and enemies. I forgive all so I can be forgiven and forgive me of my known and unknown sins. I want to be found worthy in the Lamb's book of life. In Jesus' almighty name, I consecrate these prayers in my prayer journal, prayer boxes, and all prayers throughout my whole life that I ever prayed. In Jesus' almighty name, amen. Go to God.